So I don't know if it's happened to you, but sometime this week, Xorg, I'm guessing, or the Linux kernel, or X11, whatever, has had an update, and the update has broken the mouse. The mouse acceleration, it is like doing this, if you look at the screen, my screen, it is like wading through mud. It's just abysmal, it's so slow. Now, admittedly, I did not set a configuration file for the mouse yet, yeah, bad me, but the defaults are usually fine. I've never had to. I've been using Linux and Xorg for years now, and I've never had to. It didn't matter. But something's broken it. Why? I don't know, but it's happened. So, what have I got to do? I've got to make a configuration file. And I don't even use the mouse, almost don't use it. I only have to use it. And the only reason you should use it is because of the web browser. The web browser means you've got to use it because, well, let me show you, right? This is going to be no mouse, just the keyboard. You can watch the screen and see. This is ideal. Look, I'm going to the wiki. Let's bring up mouse acceleration. All done with the keyboard, but sometimes because of certain websites, I can't use a single Vim Vixen, which is shortcuts and Vim keys or whatever on the keyboard to navigate the web browser. That's ideal, but sometimes you have to use this stupid thing. So, because of that, that is why I now need to make a configuration file because I cannot suffer it. I'm not gonna suffer it. So, here we go. So this is it, mouse acceleration in X11. Now you need two um, programs or libraries, whatever, to install. So let's just get into it, right? So let's just open another, another terminal. So let's make this a bit bigger. Let's, so annoying. Let's make this a bit bigger. Okay, so well, you know the first thing you've got to do is sudo pacman syu, make sure your database is up to date, uh, couple things, whatever. Okay, now we need to sudo pacman dash, uh, dash capital S. Alright, so we need, um, mm -mm -mm. these two here. Obviously, you're going to have to have Xorg. You wouldn't be in the graphical environment. Um, and Xorg, Xset, Xorg, X input. So you can do these together if you haven't already. Might reinstall them. Xorg, X inputs. And hit enter. Um, reinstalling. I've got them installed, so I'm not going to, but you will if you don't. Right. So let's just get this stupid thing done. So the first thing we need to do is see what devices we've got. So if you do X input, make it a bit smaller. Let's make this a bit smaller. So there we go. So you've got the virtual core X test point. So that's your virtual machine. But this is what we want. I'm using the track point. I've got my um, touchpad disabled, so should you. You should be on a ThinkPad using your track point. Completely disabled that horrible trackpad. Okay, you do you, but that's just how I feel about it. So I need to get the track point into the configuration file. That's what X input does. Okay, let's make, make this a bit bigger. Pressure, pressure. Uh, it's not going well. It's really throwing me, really throwing me. So stupid. Anyway, so this is what we want. We want to make it a persistent configuration. So you can do, you know, you can go through all this and you can test it and test it, but I don't need to. I've, this is broken on all of my XOR configure, well, non configure, it's broken all of my machines, okay? This mouse issue. So we're going to go into CD. So I know it works. Anyway, once we fixed it, Xorg. Yeah. Right now we need to make this file. 
Actually, I don't want this configuration. What we want, let's go down. Let's go, ah, this is it, persistent configuration. Let's go, they've got some other examples here. I mean, you can play around with it, whatever, but this pers persistent, I will speak properly in it. Configuration is what we want. Okay, so I, we can call it whatever you like, I think, but, oh, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Isn't it more fun when I make such a hash of things? So I'm actually, I am gonna copy something this time. You know, I will write out most things. Okay, and then, um, oh, I've got Vim keys set up on this. That's another thing I should set up. Um, anyway, so we are going to do sudo Vim. So remember you are in the system, etc. directory. So you need sudo privileges. Um, and we'll just call it that. Right, and then let's just write this bad boy out. Section input class. And an identifier. Um, and this is where we need the name of our thing. So if I do x input, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to use, I am going to use the copy again. I will write everything out, don't worry, you can watch me do my terrible typing. Although I do touch type. Okay, that didn't work. That did not. Oh no, what have I done? Okay, I am typing it all out now. I am typing it all out. Terrible. I'm making a right mess of this. Right, section. Input class input class identifier uh, I know why it's because of Vim it's because of Vim Vim's great but clipboards big problem big problem you have to set up basically it's not a big problem so T uh, PPS 2 right let's go let's go let's get this done IBM track point Yeah, that looks good. Okay, what do we have to do? Match driver. Okay, lib input. So lib input is like the library that reads all this stuff and makes things out. So like the, yeah, it's the driver, okay? That's what we just installed. Xorg, X input, or lib input. It's got lib, I don't know. Why are you asking me all these questions? Anyway, product. And here we just substring the device name. So I'm just gonna call it track point. I guess you can call it whatever you want. It's probably just some identifier if you call this this file we're making this configuration. Configuration file, right. I'm getting bored of this already. So you can see I just want to speed through this. I just want this stupid mouse thing working. So I'm just gonna put one. One is good. All right, end section, okay? That looks all good. Anyway, I know this works already, so that's what we're doing, right? Saving that, okay? Now I'm not gonna reload this configuration because I don't wanna kill the recording on the laptop and I'm not gonna peek kill Y3 because it's gonna kill the recording. I didn't do this in the virtual machine because it sort of needs to be done on bare metal. Anyway, trust me, it works. I've done it on other devices. If you fix it already, congratulations. If you didn't have this problem, congratulations. This is just, I, I hate X11 really, I hate Xorg. I don't even like Wayland. I know everybody has a like favorite, who cares? Wayland's probably better, Wayland's probably gonna be better in the future. Anyway, you should watch my next video because I have a whole thing about the truth about Linux minimalism. And uh, anyway, yeah, I, I've got my own take on it. And uh, I'm going to bring up all this stuff, X11, Wayland, all these kinds of things. I've got my own opinion on it. Because of course I have. That's why you're watching the channel, right? You're not watching it for this, this configuration. You don't care about the configuration, I'm sure. Anyway, I've gone on far too long. Uh, this is actually the third time I'm recording this stupid video because camera problems. And they get on my nerves. But it looks like it's recorded this time. Anyway, so yeah, that's it. Just uh, reload your configs and your mouse will be like uh, buttery smooth now or lightning really. It will just be nice. Anyway, we'll have a look at the other stuff in here. Arch Wiki, whatever. I've gone on far too much now. 
So, um, do the fake YouTube like, comment, subscribe. Go get me up to a million subscriptions, whatever, who cares? Probably never gonna happen. Anyway, that's it. Border this.